Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is what is the approximate size of the nucleus compared to the entire atom? There, there are two ways to go about figuring this out. We can either look at the relative length scales of the atom and the nucleus, or we can look at all the space that the entire atom occupies compared to the nucleus. So if we look at the length scale, if this is an entire atom, this is the nucleus, and this is more or less the approximate outer edge of the orbiting electrons, we have the length of the atom is on the order of one angstrom, which is equal to one times 10 to the minus 10 meters. That's really tiny, but not as tiny as the size of the nucleus. The length scale of the nucleus is on the order of one femtometer, which is equal to one times 10 to the minus 15 meters. So if we divide the length of the atom of the length scale by the length scale of the nucleus, we end up with one times 10 to the five. And this is unitless, of course. And this of this is equal to 100,000. So we see that length in the length scale, lengthwise, the atom is 100,000 times larger than the nucleus. If we were interested in seeing how the amount of space occupied by the nucleus versus the entire atom compares, then we know that in three dimensions, we can just take the length scales and cube them. So we would end up with one, here I'm using shorthand scientific notation, one times 10 to the five cubed, and we would see that the amount of space that the entire atom takes up is one times 10 to the 15 times greater than the amount of space that the nucleus takes up. So in other words, to cap this off, the entire atom takes up many, many orders of magnitudes more space than the nucleus. So whenever you see a picture or diagram of an atom, it is grossly disproportionate. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is what is the approximate size of the nucleus compared to the entire atom?